Parents of Noah Quattro, a four-year-old boy in Palmdale, pleaded no contest today to murdering and torturing their own son in 2019. They'll be sentenced next month. Eyewitness News reporter Leo Stallworth has reaction from Noah's heartbroken relatives and the prosecutor. With a big smile and bubbly personality, four-year-old Noah Quattro appears in this picture to be loved and protected. However, reality paints a different story, a nightmare. This beautiful child was tortured and brutally murdered at his parents' Palmdale residence in 2019. And his parents facing a judge today taking responsibility for the unspeakable crimes. You unlawfully and with malice of forethought committed the murder of Noah Alejandro Theodore Quattro, a human being, um, and that's murder in the first degree. The child's father, Jose Quattro, pleading no contest in court to the harshest of the charges, first degree murder. The victim's mother, Yersela Juarez, doing the same to a charge of second degree murder, both taking a plea deal which included admitting guilt to torturing that poor child. These cases are hard, Leo. Um, uh, I was just upstairs and they were asking me some questions and I started crying. So yeah, I mean, I'm a dad and so I have two young kids. Um, you know, I've, I've been with Noah's case for five years. Uh, before that, I was also with Anthony's case and with Gabriel's case. And, you know, right now I have 15 active child murder cases. And so these cases are very hard. They affect the entire family. I loved him so much, and I still do. I'll always love him. I'll always remember him until I die. You feel like there's been justice? Yes. Yes. I'm really happy with the results today. Um, I don't, too, I don't forgive them for what they've done. Um, because, you know, we really loved Noah so much. Prosecutor says at sentencing, scheduled for April 30th, he believes the judge will throw the book at the child's parents. Noah had at least people's vo his voice was heard. Uh, I believe he's in heaven, and I, and I believe at least people see that he mattered. These two individuals now will spend the rest of their life in prison. Leo Stallworth, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.